next on an all new Stir Crazy with Josh Horowitz. The hilarious, super talented, great guy, super nice looking, <laughs> it's a generally chill individual, Will Arnett and Josh Horowitz talk about lots of different stuff. Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy, the show where I say I'm checking in on my famous friends, but really I'm just trying to sneak a peek at their homes because they won't actually invite me in. My guest today, the one and only Will Arnett. Hey, Will. Hi, sorry, just holding for applause. No, it doesn't. Will. How you doing? Thank you. Hi. We, we call this uh, Stir Crazy. What's your Stir Crazy level today? Right now, I just exercise in the garage. So I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling pretty good. That could all change, you know, a couple hours from now, right around what we used to call dinner time, what we now call, um, you know, savagely eat food until we're full. Just um, shovel, just. Because well, society is completely fallen, right? I've heard that, yeah. Civilization doesn't exist anymore, so it doesn't matter. So why are you still working out? Why, 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 why not let the body go? Because you got to, you can't, you're not gonna keep a, a a Ferrari off a road, you know what I mean? It's gotta run, it's gotta run. <laughs> I've been wrestling with this myself. You know that I, I treat my body like a, a temple and I love to exercise. One of those like really old temples that you find that monkeys now live in? <laughs> yes, an abandoned <laughs> horrible temple. Um, what, what do I do to keep my body in tip top shape inside? Do you have any workout tips for me? It, while you're inside? Yeah, like in my confined little New York apartment, what do I do? I'd go jailhouse if I were you in an apartment in New York. Yeah. I'd just be like doing like a million push-ups and something. You can watch while you're watching. You don't even have to watch an exercise, but you could watch like some kind of a, a movie. People like that Tiger King thing. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's that great. Well, I think standards have dropped because now we're just looking for any kind After of two knowledge. weeks. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. World War II was six years long. <laughs> like... In two months, society's gonna like rediscover Three's Company and think it's like the Talmud. Oh it's my God, Three's Company will build a society based on it at this point. <laughs> Let's play a game. Okay. I'm calling this quarantine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna mention a famous friend, acquaintance, collaborator of yours. You tell me if you want if you want them living with you in the in the Will Arnett quarantine. For instance, do you want Jason Bateman? in the quarantine and, and, and how is he serving you in the uh no i'll tell you why I, I don't because a even in the best of times even in the non-quarantine days he wears slippers too too much of the day he wear, uses too much hand sanitizer and i also realized i didn't answer an email of his and he hates that like two days ago i'm just remembering he emailed me he lives right around the corner but he emailed me about doing this thing, it's some charity thing or whatever, and I totally blanked him. <laughs> just so like, let me just get this straight. You're doing my stupid show, and you didn't respond for a charity thing from one of your best friends. Yeah. What about your uh, fellow Canadian dreamboat, Ryan Gosling? I wish. <laughs> <sighs> Need a little eye candy. The guy's a freaking dreamboat. Well, both the Ryans are. Both the Canadian Ryans are real dreamboats. <laughs> I'd like to have old Ryan Reynolds in there. That'd be great. He's a, he's a heck of a dreamy guy himself. What about uh, um, your good buddy from what, the Lego uh, Batman movie, Ray Fiennes? It's fun when you make a movie with somebody that you've never met to this day. <laughs> have you you've literally never met your Alfred? I've never met him. I've That's never met the man. There's a lesson to be learned here. That, yeah, that you don't need to meet people. I do know you have someone special there. You have a four-legged friend. Oh, Bella. Okay, this is a special edition of Show Me Your Pet with Will Arnett. Will, show us your pet. Oh, God. Oh, my. Woo. Look at this. Look at this big girl. Hi, hi, hi. That's Bella. That is your dog. You didn't just go outside and grab this dog from the street. This is your actual pet. No, what kind of insane person would do that? <laughs> right, Bella? Um, <laughs> oh, Jojo? How long have you had Bella? Bella, Bella how old are you? She just talked to me this morning for the first time. How, how old are you, Bella? She's four. She's four, she's almost four. You guys are getting a lot of FaceTime together, obviously, in the last couple of weeks. 
we're in California, so we have a swimming pool. A lot of people have swimming pools, you know. Right. I'm, not, I'm not trying to rub it in, Josh. I get it. I get it. Uh, but she's been getting in the swimming pool a lot, which is like not, that's a no-go because then no. she's wet and then she runs around the house and up and down on the couch and stuff. It's, it's been a little bit stinky. I, gotta, I, I need to, she needs a wash. When, when I come over the next time for the first time, can I use the pool? <laughs> Sorry, man, you cut out there for a second. No, it, you know, um, the signal's perfect on my end. That's weird. Oh, that's cool, dude. Um, yeah, I don't know who's going to win the election. I don't even know if they'll still hold it. <laughs> How about a game of I Spy? I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter C. Is it a, a, there's like only so many things that I can see next to you. Is it, is it a person? It's not a person. Is it an award of some sort? I, I, technically it represents an award, I guess, yeah. I mean, wait, is it a certificate? It's, it's not really a certificate. It's more like a... Are you literally touching it? What is it? Oh, I mean, if you're asking what it is, it, 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 is it the representation of my Canada's Walk of Fame? Yeah, it is, Josh. Canada's Walk of Fame. You literally walk on it. Okay, we're going to do a different one. You ready? You're pathetic. I spy with my little eyes something that begins with P. Is it another fucking award of yours now? What is it's it? not necessarily an award, but it's a plaque, okay, Josh? And it's a plaque, and it's, and it's from the 2017 Beverly Hills A's, the champions, and the coach. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That's the freaking, look at that guy. Look at that coach, okay? 2017 champions. You know, if anything, isolation has made you more pathetic, which is remarkable. Are you saying prophetic? I agree because I had, I've made so many prophecies that, you know, it's been sick how prophetic I've been. All right, last game. Don't look, I don't want to get, I don't want to play I Spy anymore. Last game, you ready? Okay. We're going to play charades. Um, it's a movie. Is it, it's Jaws. It's Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. It's, you're, it's, it's G-Force. The classic movie G-Force you were in. It's, it's a, it's, you're a rat, um, rat catcher, re, uh, revenge of the rat, rat race. Ra, is it rat? Is rat in there? Rat, ratatouille! You were in ratatouille! Yes. Keep me talking. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Okay, I'll do one. Okay. Okay. Is it, was it a movie? Oh, you're walking, walking, bent over, sick, um, sick. Sick, 16 candles, sick. It's not a movie. Oh, it's not a movie. Sick, Corona, sick of, oh, oh elephant, elephant. The chicken, the fucking chicken. That was a bad clue, that was a really hard one. That's a chicken? Hey, listen, Josh, I hate to quote Arrested Development, but have you ever, seen a fucking chicken before he was pecking he was pecking you were going like this what would you have done what would this what would you have done well first of all i would have done that. <laughs> that's yeah that's true that's very yeah you want to see something really cool yeah i'm going to show you something cool let me see oh he's going mobile he's moving he's moving <gasps> vo booth the VO booth. That's freaking. This is where it happens. We're going to be right back with Josh Hurwitz and Stir Crazy here on all your favorite platforms. Should we make this a daily thing, Will? you got time. Um, I'd l Let me just say this. I would love to. If, if it were up to me, I'd totally say yes. It, can, it is up to you. I, I wish it was up to me. All right. I think we're, I think we're about done. Uh, don't go stir right. crazy, Will. I appreciate the catch up. I'm sorry it was under these circumstances, but uh, oh, no. okay, <laughs> this, is, this was ideal for you. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'll see you soon, hopefully, buddy. All right, man. Stay safe. Thanks.